Hey guys, welcome back to Hexit. So, the last episode, we finished making our smelting forge here. Uh, and we made some aluminum brass. Uh, we haven't put it in, into any casts yet, but we are going to do that in this video. But, before we do any of that, I need to go mining. Um, I've got very little iron. I've just got these three iron blocks. Um, I'm going to take that with me too. Um, I've got... Well... I have very little coal actually, I have 12 pieces of coal and that includes everything that was in the furnaces. So I really need to go mining. Um, so I'm going to do that now, I'm going to not spend days or anything, but I'm going to spend like maybe an hour or two mining. Um, try and get some uh, some resources back here and hopefully survive. Um, and once we've done that then hopefully we can get into crafting. Um, and also, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's it's a bush, I think. It's like a oh, this uh, orberry. Oh, okay. This is the stuff um, that I talked about, I think, in the first episode, where you can actually grow ores. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is that stuff. I don't know. I don't know if we can move them or not, though. Yeah, you can actually collect the bushes, so we can move those. We've got two Aubrey bushes now, copper. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go mining. I'm going to collect all these resources up, and then hopefully we'll be able to make some um, some pretty cool things with uh, Tinkers a little bit later. But I'll see you in a little while. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so we spent uh, an hour or so mining. Um, we got some good stuff. Um, this is what we ended up with. So we've got over a stack of iron now. We've got a good amount of copper, a little bit of tin, and aluminium. Um, we also found this, meteor chips. I'm not really sure what those are for yet, but uh, those will be interesting. I did actually find some of these ore berries, um, which are cool. Um, now, because I changed my... Uh, upgraded my smeltery books, uh, you know, these Tinker's Construct books. Um, I need to remake them. So I, I remade the first one, which is Materials and You, just so I have a copy of it. And that's the one that talks about these Aubreys. Um, so we might make an Aubrey room at some point. Um, but we need to remake the second book, Materials and You version 2. So for that, we just need to make the first book again and then stick it in our crafting bench again. So um, we're going to do that. It's really simple. You just take a piece of paper. A blank stencil, and and that is it. 
and then we can uh, we can have one of those. So we have two of these now, but we're going to take one of them and upgrade it to the second volume. So we have all three books again. So we should be covered. Um, because this is the one that goes over the the materials, which is the one I want to look at now, c considering we're going to be making some stuff. Um, so I don't really know what materials to use. Um, I'm thinking I want to make for right now a pick and a sword. Maybe would be nice. Um, there's a few different types of swords. Uh, we'll have a look at those first. What I want to decide now is what materials to make them out of. There's also some special ones which require some more things too. Um, but okay, so I mean, you know, there's iron. Iron is the obvious choice. We could definitely do iron. Um, some of these are pretty cool. The slime ones are pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't have any um, any slime tools right now. Um, and obviously, like some of these metal ones, like alumite, we might not have. In fact, I'm pretty sure we don't have. I think we need obsidian to make that, which we don't have right now. Because we don't have a diamond pick. Uh, slime ones are pretty cool. They've got high durability. Um, and pretty good mining level as well. Um, but again, we don't have any slimes just yet. This tells you how to make the slime crystals. Paper. Cobalt and Ardite are probably some of the better materials, but we have to go to the nether for those. Uh, Manilium too, we have to go to the nether for. I'm thinking we're going to make some bronze. It's slightly um, better. No, there you go. It says they're a common alloy. It's a bit better than iron. So I think we'll make some bronze tools to kind of start with. Um, there is also steel, but I'm not sure how to make that just yet. So I think bronze is what we should go for. So if we go look at our third book now, Mighty Smelting. It will tell us to make bronze, you put it, it, obviously it's in the smeltery, you need to combine three copper and one tin. Now we don't have too much tin, but we should be okay. But before we can make anything, um, we have to make some casts, because these stencils that we have here, these only allow you to make non-metallic tools, so paper, wood, stone, netherrack, bone tools, etc., slime tools, you can make those with these. But these are made out of wood. So as you can imagine, putting hot metal on a wood pattern wouldn't be very good. So we have to make some metal casts for the metal tools. That's why we made some of this... Um, I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, what is it called? Aluminium brass. That's what we made. And you, if, if you access the smelter, you can see a little bit of yellow liquid here. And if you hover over it, it tells us that we've got enough to make four ingots. So we might need to make a little bit more. But we're going to make our casts first. Now, you have to make negative casts, which basically means... Uh, this might sound super complicated or something, but basically what it means is that we need to make some um, some initial uh, items or parts out of another material. So we're just going to go with... Well, we're just going to go with stone, because, you know, why not? So we're going to make a cobble stone pickaxe head. We're going to make... A cobble to uh, tool rod, and we're also going to make a cobble binding. So that should be our negatives for a pickaxe at least. And what you do now, because we have our aluminum brass liquid in there, is you place them on this casting table, pour the aluminum brass out and wait for it to dry. Now what we have is a negative cast for a pickaxe head that we can use for metals. And we need to Repeat that for the other materials. There's the tool rod. Or the other patterns, I should say. And we need to do one for the binding. Nice. Okay. Um, now, I'll stick these two parts in here. We won't need those for a little while. Now, obviously, we do have some parts already made that we found in the village. But I'm, I'm not going to worry about those for now. So now we can actually, we do still have a little bit of um, liquid left here. So let's see, what, what other tool parts can we make? If we're going to make a sword, do we have patterns for that? Let's have a look. Um, chisel. We do have a sword blade pattern, so maybe we can make that. A stone sword blade. Now, if we check our part builder and click on... this, Is it a broadsword or... Not sure. I think it's just a regular sword, broadsword. Um, so we need the sword blade, a handle, and a wide guard. So do we have enough? Let's have a look. Do we have the right patterns? We've got a wide guard, so we'll make one of those. And do we have a handle? Shovel head. 
It doesn't look like we have a handle. A hand guard. No. Okay, so let's see if we can make a handle here. I'm not really sure what the handle looks like. Sword blade. Knife blade. Tough tool rod. Large blade. What is that? Oh, bow strings. Yeah, you can make bows of this. I forgot about that. Fletchlings. Arrowheads. Two rods, pickaxe. Have we gone around them all now? I wish you could see them all without actually having to look through them. I'm wondering if the handle is actually just a tool rod. Uh, I'd, I'd imagine they'd just call it a tool rod if it was a tool rod. Um, let's check again because there should be a picture of it. Yeah, it just looks, it just looks like a tool rod. Um, so let, let's try anyway. Okay, so we've. Now, we are going to run out of um, aluminum brass in a moment, but that's okay, we can make some more. That should be all the aluminum brass, as you can see, it's it's empty in there now. What did we make? We made a sword blade. A stone-wide guard. So we need to make some more aluminum brass, which means we need um, three more aluminum. And one more copper. Let's go ahead and throw these in there. I think we've still got quite a lot of lava in here. I don't think that's going to be a problem for all those guys in there. And we'll pop that in there while we're waiting as well. So that's going to take a, a little minute to, to cool down there, or to cook, I should say. So let's let's have a quick look at the, the materials book again. Because you don't have to, like, we're going to make our bronze tools for now. But we don't have to have all bronze. We could have bronze and something else if we wanted to. Now, you can't make tools out of diamonds. Um, but you can add diamonds as a modifier if you wanted to. I so want to make a frying pan. Looks <laughs> pretty cool. Um, the battle signs, I'm not really sure what those are about yet either. So, let's check. As you can see, the modifiers, what we're looking at really here is... Um, let's have a look at uh, bronze. Let's find bronze again. Bronze, okay. Yeah, I think bronze is our best bet, at least until we know how to make something better, or until, at least until we've been to the nether and we've got um, some more materials there. Uh, where is the copper? Why didn't the copper melt? Molten... I did put copper in, I'm sure I did. Oh, oh did I put them the wrong way around? I totally did. It was three copper and one aluminium. Damn. Oh, that's tin. Yeah, I put uh, put them in the wrong ratio, so silly me. I might have to put a bunch of copper in there. Yeah, I put three aluminium and one copper instead of three copper and one aluminium. So because of that, I think I'll have to put quite a bit more in. That's what you get for not paying attention. While we're waiting for that... Let's have a let's have a quick look at our smelting book because we want to make um, a couple of other things. Okay, so I'd like to make. Um, let's have a look. Well, we're going to need another smeltery drain, which is that. We don't have too many bricks left though, so we'll have to see whether we can make it. We'll need another faucet, so that's nine pieces. Um, and we'll also need a casting basin. Hmm, yeah, they might be tight. We might not have enough. I think we have 14 pieces left. Yeah, that's so not going to be enough, is it? Yeah, that's not going to be enough. We could make the casting basin and another drain. But we need two more bricks. So I guess we can get those cooking right now. Uh, gravel, sand, and clay. Okay, we'll just make four of those. That should be enough. Need a little bit of coal too. And let's uh, tidy up our inventory while we're waiting here. Oh, oh no, that was a controller. Yeah, we did have a spare smeltery controller, which I made by accident. 
But um, yeah, we're going to. Um, okay, what is this now? Molten copper, molten bronze. I might have totally screwed this up. I might have to drain this. But we're going to pop down our basin there. Um, yeah, I totally screwed that up because I put totally the wrong recipe in. So I think we'll wait till we drain it. What we need is um, those two more bricks. There you go. Because we need to make another faucet. Okay. Now, what this basin allows you to do is basically drain off stuff that you don't want. And you can actually turn it into blocks. Um, I haven't got a blocks worth in there. See, look, there's, uh, there's actually two different materials in here. Hmm. Kind of screwed this up, didn't I? I might have to make some more bricks and get another basin going. Because I'm a silly boy. One, two, three, and put those in there. We'll get those cooking anyway. Um, I'm sure we can use them. Hmm. Now, if I break this, because I don't really want this liquid. It's not going to spill ever, is it? No, it just disappears. Good. And then I should be able to drain off the other stuff that we don't need to. Because I kind of screwed this up. keep doing that until it's empty I hope but you can actually use this to make blocks of liquid or blocks of like a copper block or an aluminium brass block or, or whatever I mean yeah that's not is it empty yet yes we're finally empty so we've just wasted all of that but I didn't don't see what else we could do really probably just because I'm a noob alright let's check our book again so we can get the right recipe correct this time so we need aluminium brass so it's three aluminium, one copper. Alright, get it right, Funky. We don't have much aluminium, so we can't really afford to waste it. Copper ore. So three aluminium, one copper. That should give us our last bit of aluminium brass, which the rest I'll drain into here. So we can uh, do make something else. But it should give us our um, handle pattern there. Or a hand guard pattern, I should say. Oh, there you go. It shows how much lava we have left as well. We've got quite a bit left in there yet. So we'll be alright for this episode, at the very least. There's the aluminium. The copper should be following in about a minute, I guess. I'm going to take these out of here right now because... Um, I might as well use the coal up. Uh, I, you know, I don't know that we need them right now, but we'll have them in the future if we do. We've got a little bit of grout there too. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what that meteor stuff is used for. Okay, now finally we can make this last cast that we need. And then drain off the rest. Okay, we'll just keep that in there. I don't know how you'd get it out of there, to be honest. Uh, it might just be wasted in there. Maybe you have to make blocks of it. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's not our concern right now. What we want to do is make some bronze. So bronze is three copper and one tin. Now, I don't think we have much tin at all, or we don't. So we'll see how far we can get with this. Oh, I didn't get the copper. Copper we're doing okay on, I think. Where is my copper? There it is. I'm blind. So three copper, one tin. So this will take a little while to cook. Uh, three copper, one tin. But this should give us our bronze, and then we can start making our pattern. So we're going to make um, a pick first. So we'll put the sword stuff up there. We need these three uh, patterns. So what you do then is once you've got your, your casts, just pop them down on the casting table. And um, once our liquid is all melted up here, we'll be able to um, to make some casts. And then obviously we can combine the tool and add a few effects as well, or modifiers as they're called. This is a pretty crappy tool to begin with, but you know, it's a start. 
Oh, what the heck is my hookshot doing in there? <laughs> Nearly done. Okay, so we got like a whitey liquid in there now. Ooh, fancy. I think we did make some bronze earlier in one of these things, but that's okay. Alright, let's drain that off and get our pickaxe head. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's make our tool rod as well. I think we should have enough for four items. And let's make our tool rod. We might even have some bronze items in here, actually. We've got, oh no, it's copper, copper. Oh, we have to have a bronze crossbar. I'm going to put these casting rod things in here. We've got our three tool rod parts now. So we come over to the tool station, click on the pickaxe, and put our parts in. So, we have... Um, a durability of 454, a mining speed of 7. Let's, um, did we make, no, we didn't, did we make an iron one? No, we made a stone one, didn't we? Yeah, we made a stone one before. Um, and we can add three modifiers on it, so we're just going to call this bronze pick, because I doubt I'll be keeping this for very long. But as you notice, it does have, um, one of the special perks of bronze as a material. Um, if we go back to the, um... Materials in new volume 2. Find bronze in here. Oop, past it. One of the special abilities is reinforced. So that's kind of, I think that's the equivalent of unbreaking a, a, a enchantment that's effectively on it. Um, I don't know how it compares mining speed to iron. Oh, oh no, no, no. Get out, get away. <laughs> um, but we've got an iron tool here. Oh, no, no, no. Damn it, spider. Let's just knock a few blocks out. So this is iron, just regular vanilla iron pick. This is our bronze pick. Yeah, it's a little tiny bit faster, I think. Not much, but a tiny, tiny bit. And it should last longer as well. Um, I think iron picks have a durability of 250, 250. Bronze is 350, plus this has got the reinforced ability on it as well. So pretty nice. Let's put these materials away here. Get rid of this eyeball. Okay, so now what we're going to do is if you come back to the tool station and on this very first tab, the default one that looks like an anvil, if we put our pick back in there, we can now add modifiers. You can also use it to rename your tools as well. And as you can see, you can only put a certain amount of modifiers on, um, three in particular on this tool. So uh, there's a few different things you can add. I think there's diamonds. Um, uh, we've got some redstone. Lapis, I think, is one you can put on there, too. There, there are more, um, and I think also coal, actually. Or maybe not coal. I'm thinking of a different mod. But, like, if we put a diamond on, it gives us an extra 500 durability. And as you can see, it's changed the picture to have uh, little blue tips on it, which is pretty nice. If we put redstone on, it's got a little red thing there. It gives us haste, so that's pretty awesome. And Lapis gives us um, luck, which I think is like fortune. So that's a pretty nice... I think we'll put all three of those on to some degree. Um, there's, there are more modifiers, don't get me wrong. I just don't know them all yet. So we're going to add one diamond so that we have extra durability. We're going to add a bunch of redstone. Actually, if we put them like that, I think we can do this quicker. Now... You, as you can see there, you can go up to level 50, and that still only counts as one modifier. And it, you've got your mining speed here. Right now it's 835. I think it was 7 to begin with, but we're obviously upgrading it here with the redstone. Um, if I take it up, as you can see here, it says 25 or 50. If I take it up to 50 and no higher, then that counts as one modifier. If I go over 50, that will count as two modifiers. So we want to keep it at one, one modifier, so that we can also put some lapis on to get some fortune on it. Okay, we're getting there. One more, and then... One more. There you go. So that's one modifier. We've got uh, a fast... So it's, we've gone from speed 7 to speed nearly 11, which is pretty awesome. Oh, it's still at 49. Can I put one more on then? Yeah, there you go, 50. There you go, speed 11. So 
we've added quite a, a nice bit of uh, speed boost to it. We're also going to add haste, and it's the same thing with the lapis. You can go up to 450 um, to include increase it, but obviously I don't have that much lapis, so I'll just put on whatever I can here. You need quite a lot of lapis for this fortune um, pick here. I've also increased my um, mining level to obsidian, which is awesome. Uh, that is by uh, that came as part of adding the diamond. So I don't actually have to use my diamonds to make any tools here. <laughs> Weird noises making. Okay, let's put that there. Might as well use up this little bit of lapis that we have. There you go. So that is our final tool uh, at the moment. So it's durability is 954, although we've used it a tiny bit. Mining speed is 11. It can mine obsidian now. And we have um, fortune on it as well. So that's awesome. I think we should go and try it and compare it to our iron tool. And there's just so many different combinations that you can do. I mean, I, I don't even know. Let's put these books away. We don't want... To, oh, our table's full here. Let's stick it in there. Can we put it in there? No, we can't. Damn. Put it in there, then. And get rid of our diamonds. Let's go and test it over here again. So we have our regular iron tool that we've been using up until now. And our new bronze pick. Yeah, there's a noticeable difference in speed here. Let's um let's cover this hole up. I don't want any nasties coming down. Um so that's cool. So we've made our first Tinker's construct tool and it looks pretty awesome too. Ta -da. <laughs> okay. So I think what we should do for the the end of this episode then. I've no idea how long I've been. I mean I've been playing for a little while obviously with mining and stuff. I think we should go and check out like a structure of some kind whether the Oh, damn it. Did you aggro on me from last night, you little jerk? Um, yeah, I think we should check out some kind of structure. Maybe a slightly larger boat than usual. We'll, we we could end up dying. See, there's a couple of boats over there. Um, I think I came through that way, though, so maybe we should go over this way. Oh, do you know what? Maybe we should try taking on that sandworm. How do you guys feel about that? And maybe I shouldn't have brought my new fancy pick, but whatever. I'm sure it won't be the first time or the last time I die, if I do die. I think we should try killing that sandworm, though. See, there's also a tower there, but I think those towers are pretty tough. And it's also getting night time. Damn. Why didn't I sleep? Hey, bunny. Um, if I see any pirate ships on the way, I think I will go to them just purely just to steal some wool and, and to take a nap. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's another armadillo. These uh, plants are really cool as well. They seem um, to open up at night and produce light. You can see them there. They, they look awesome. I think there is a pirate ship over here somewhere. Yeah, I think I see one right there. And I think the sandworm is just like over there. So we're pretty close. So we'll sleep on this pirate ship. And then we'll take on the sandworm. And maybe die. <laughs> oh wow, what the hell is that? Okay, if we survive the sandworm, maybe we should check that out. Hey, squiddies. I totally did not notice that. I've passed it about three or four times. It looked like a portal to somewhere. Okay, let's get up here. Let's get ourselves some wool. Oh no, I ruined that awesome um, pirate ship thing. Uh, the the flag. <laughs> oh, damn you, jerk. What are you doing? No. Oh, you little jerk. Where did you come from? Oh, no. You got friends. Oh, God. Well, 
I think ruining the flag is the least of my worries right now. Okay. Yeah, we did empty that chest. Well, that sucked. But let's make a bed anyway. There's monsters nearby? Not more monsters. Please, not more monsters. Where are they? Are you talking about that jerk over there? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it! Where are these guys coming from? Ah. <sighs> these guys suck. It's not much of a ship anymore, is it? I mean, it's going to get more wool now. <laughs> this ship is just ruined. Yeah, the birds are just tweeting away there while I'm getting blown to bits. Okay, please let me sleep. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Okay. So the sandworm is over in that vicinity. If I remember correctly. There's also a lizard thing over there. I'm half tempted to make a chest in chest here somewhere to um protect my stuff. Namely my pick, really, I suppose. Like, I know it's not even that good a pick, but it's the only one I've got right now. Ah, these creepers. I need a sword that does more damage. I hope the sandworms. Oh, wasn't he right here? I was sure he was right here. Oh, where'd he go? No, Mr. Sandworm, come back. I'm sure he was right there. Now, he could have despawned, or maybe they move around a little. Oh, not you, you little shit. Get away, I don't like you. Hmm. I don't see him. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there's another one of those crazy portal things right here. Do you know, since we can't find the lizard... Oh, not the lizard, the sandworm. Should we just... Yeah, let's see what this is about. If we die, we die. No big deal. Okay. Okay, rift signatures. I have no idea what this is. So far, I'm finding fabric of reality. Okay, this is obviously an, a part of another mod. Which mod that is? I have no idea at the moment. Hmm, which one do we go through? Well, this one's got iron bars in front of it, so why not? Or maybe it's got iron bars in front of it because you're not supposed to go here. Oh no, just oh that's cool. And you just made a little door there. Okay, that was that was interesting. Oh, it's got like smoke in it. What's that mean? Maybe you can't go back in. I wonder if I can go back in this one and then go through this door. Okay, more stuff. Looks like exactly the same stuff. Uh, my stuff is full. Let's just dump the stuff in here. Okay. 
I'm a little confused right now though as to what's going on. Ah, there's another one there. Ooh, and now we got three choices. Oh, oh god, oh god. Is there lava down there? No, it's just... Oh god, it falls into the void. Can I place blocks? Obviously, you're supposed to be like... Um... You know, you're supposed to be able to do this without being a wimp. That's a bit cheaty, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can do it. Run! No! Uh, I fell on my sand block. <laughs> um, do I have my hook shot with me? Oh man, I'm so out of my league here, I think. Oh dear. It closes so quickly. Oh my god, I made it out. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. That day doesn't look very interesting. Got my cloud boots, I can just jump around this so easily, but I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, this door over here, I guess. This is so weird. Ooh, power three buck. That's nice. Okay, where now? Oh, there's another chest over there. I have no idea what mod this is. There's another chest right there, too. Ooh, a rift blade opens temporary doors, special teleport attacks, and rotates existing doors. That's cool. Alright, how do we go back? Alright, this is where we pop... Right, we need to go down here. I know the way I'm doing this is kind of cheaty, but, you know, what can I do? Okay, so there's another three doors here. These lead to three equally weird places. A monolith. Oh god. Wh what is the monolith? Oh my god! Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Don't hurt me, please. What the hell just happened? Oh my god. Am I fighting something? Or am I. What? I'm falling? Oh my god, what? I'm going to hazard a guess and say I'm totally not prepared for this. Okay, you can't light anything here, so I'm sorry if it's really dark, guys. There's not much I can really seem to do about that. Okay, nothing's attacking me. But that's not necessarily good either. Can I, can I get this? Okay. No. What about this fancy sword I have? Oh, oh, where have you sent me now? Like, I think you're supposed to die through full damage, but maybe I I don't die because I have cloud boots or something? I don't know. Oh, wow, I can make a door. Uh, Where am I? Ok, 
Okay, that just took me back here. I'm so confused. Am I lost in here now? He's gonna teleport me again, isn't he? Yeah, what the hell, man? Hmm. Maybe I should end the episode here and try and figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do for the next episode. Maybe I just gotta find um, a way out. It looks like there's a bridge or something over there. We'll check that out really quickly. Oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to get there without... Oh, look, it looks like their eyes are opening. Yeah, I think I'm totally supposed to get there without them seeing me. And if they see me, they teleport me somewhere. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. Because, like, when you get close to them... I'll show you on this one now. Like, you can see... You can't see his eye, but now you can see his eyes. Oh, it's like he's opening his eye and he's you're coming into his range. Okay, I'm going to leave the video here, guys. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen next or how I'm going to get out of here. But uh, hopefully we can. See you next time.